So we were both so glad to be back on board Jupiter after the recent stressful events and enjoying the company of our ocean dwelling neighbours. I think the birds want the fish caught more. My god, there's four seals coming. Five. Ah. <laughs> They hadn't gone hungry though. You remember I mentioned Hout Bay is a fishing village, so every morning and every evening they get a free feed. Some of these chunks of meat are really big, whether it's a bony head or a spine. And the seals have quite a lot of work to do to break it up. And of course, the inevitable happened. The seals are so cute, aren't they? When they throw their meat around like that, unless they throw it at your boat. Check this. Dents. The bones have made dents in Jupiter three different places. So cute. <laughs> cute. <laughs> so now that we had a brand new three month visa, and I needed to take it a little bit easy, we decided to do a bit of car touring. We drove over Chapman's Peak to Simonstown, where we could see a colony of penguins. You tell me, where are you now? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm taking a picture! These cuties are simply known as African penguins and they just went about their business unperturbed by all us rubbernecks. And we took a trip to the beautiful winery area of Stellenbosch, where our friend Tanya lives. She helped us crew from Madagascar to South Africa. Where do we go now, now? Just let me know. Meet Wookie the Wonder Dog. Tanya, his mum, is yeah. French Mexican, <laughs> while his dad is South African. Good boy. Bye, Quicky. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> However, Wookie only speaks French. Oh, French speak. Regarde moi. I see. Look at the one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but she's still open. Yeah. What? <laughs> Someone's 
made in the end. After taking Wookie for a walk, we hit the winery. You could spend a whole day here at the wineries, even if you didn't drink wine. There's so much to do and something for everybody. Back on board Jupiter, I was tending to some maintenance. Let me just try to find. Babe, what are you looking for? Hi guys. Boats are a constant full-time job of maintenance. Doesn't matter if it's new boat or old boat. My water system is always, not always, but it's often got a leak somewhere. Uh, come and have a look down here. You can see that it's uh, it's basically just standard hosing and in places I've even just got garden hose because I couldn't get chemical hose and hose clamps little plastic T fittings elbows etc and it only takes one or two drips and the pressure system like that automatically runs because it's losing pressure even if it's just one or two drips it, it's losing pressure and trying to hunt down those drips is uh, frustrating but the way I try and use it if anyone has better techniques please tell me and my water system is not the neatest it does need some cleaning up and a bit more efficient in the routing etc but anyway I get paper towel what happens with paper towel when it gets wet? It really swells and it changes shape and color. So what I do, double it up perhaps and then just tear it into... Oh. <laughs> Start again. Fold it up. I've tried to dry everything. Everything is as dry as I can get it right now. And then under every suspect area, like a join, like this one has three joins here. I'll put paper towel underneath and then just leave it for a while come back and see if there's a dot and show you what it does if it was to get wet and I use the torch so you see precisely but you can see definitely whoop, maybe it's too bright for you but you can see definitely if there's a drip or no drip and that's what you're doing is just chasing drips. Uh, anyway, I'm still working on this one. Sometimes at night time, it'd feel like someone else was on board. But we learned to relax about it after a while. We knew that the next day there would be quite a bit of cleanup to do. These guys have very oily fur and the fur sheds and they don't bother to get out of bed before they go to the bathroom. We decided to leave this watchdog on duty because today we are ticking off another must do in Cape Town and that's take a ride up Table Mountain. 
Initially, the weather didn't look so great, but it was starting to clear up nicely. Our friends on sailing vessel Brickhouse would join us for the ride up the mountain. Naughty Kawadi. The only thing that rhymes with Kawadi is Naughty. He really lives up to his name. Are you going to be a good boy? Why are you weeping when it's my dinner time? You should plan your trip up Table Mountain in the morning because by mid-afternoon, depending on the wind, the tablecloth is laid out. Meanwhile, back on Jupiter, I was preparing a bit of a surprise for Princess's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you did it! It says something on there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just like you, except no glasses. You need oh. some sunglasses. There you go.
shortly after our celebrations, this thriving tourist town of Hout Bay was about to become a desolate scene. Beautiful place to be locked down.